hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today we will see another late code problems where uh, that will be the two sum uh, this is the most interesting and popular question asked by facebook google or any other big big company so uh, uh, here uh, we have a integer array and we have given a target so what do we need to do we need to find out the indexes of uh, those target uh, of that two number that meets the target so let's say if we do the sum of that particular two number into a given array so we need to find out the whether the target uh, they meets uh, uh, to the target or not so in this case what we need to do first we will see the um, simple straightforward approach brute force so here we will go to that uh, no can it this one we will see let's say we have the uh, this array and we have five elements and we have the target uh, uh, as a nine so we need to find out the two indexes so those uh, sum will be nine right so here the uh, simple solution we can see we need to use uh, the uh, we need to use two for of two loop where we need to check each and every pairs right let's say if we start with the five for five we need to check rest everything right for each and every pairs we need to check whether five plus something meets nine or not so like same for that four uh, first we'll check a five then we will move to the 4 and for 4 we will check 3, 6, 1 everything we need to check each and every pair although here one thing I need to highlight that for the previous element let's say for 4 we won't check for uh, with 5 because for 5 we already uh, considered this uh, condition right so it will be the forward process uh, let's say we we'll need to use the two loop where uh, it will be start with you know uh, this indexes so here the time complexity as we are using uh, the two loops so obviously the time complexity will be uh, like uh, big O of n n square right and the pace complexity the, uh, as we are not using any extra memory so here the pace complexity will be big O of 1 so this will be the one approach this is very uh, straightforward approach but uh, we need to find out some better way right because this time complexity is more so we can't rely on these algorithms so here if we uh, heard about the hash map or hash table that will be more easier okay so let's say if we want to implement uh, the hash map i'll show you that approach as well let's say we have this array let me take one array uh, let's say three we have four we have five and we have six and here if we take the target target is let's say again if we take uh, as a 11 and we know that within this array we have one element like 5 and next element is 6 those two sum will be 11 so here what we are going to do we will create one uh, hash table right in hash table let's say we will create in the memory and there we will store the value and index for value let's say for the first value 3 uh, the index will be 0 right so for second value 4 index will be 1 so like like that way we will check whether the target uh, whatever target we have we need to find another element so what will be the another element we need to minus uh, we need to subtract uh, uh, the element from the target let's say the one element if it is uh, 5 then the next element how i will get the next element i will get get by subtracting from target uh, 11 minus 5 equals to 6 right so like that way we need to check that whether that complement let's say the complement will be target minus element or target minus um, subtract the element right so in that case each and every value we will check each and every value or each and every uh, you know has table we will check whether that target minus target minus uh, the element current element is present or not so this will be a complement right so these things we need to check so let's say for 3 what will be the complement complement will be 7 so 7 it's not there in this value for 4 uh, what will be the complement so for 4 complement will be uh, right 7 so 4 also 7 is the complement so sorry for 4 it is 7 for 3 it will be 8 right so like that we need to check and for 5 what we are going to do for 5 uh, this is uh, we will insert into this uh, uh, into this hash table the index will be 2 and in the next uh, loop what we are going to do the next loop we will see the value is 6 right and 6 is the complement so here we'll get right from target minus 5 what will be the complement is 6 or here target minus uh, 6 it will be the 5 so 5 is already exist in this hash table so we'll simply return this 5 index and the current index 
so this is the main logic okay i hope you understand that now we'll see how we can implement these things so let's say we have uh, uh, these numbers and target so what we're going to do we'll create one has map right or has table whatever it is so let's say we'll create the map nums and we will simply use that uh, uh, loop let's take me a for loop 0 and i less than nums length and i plus plus so now what we are gonna to do now we need to find the uh, we need to find out the complement right complement equals to what will the, what will be the complement complement is target minus complement is target minus nums i target minus current i right so that will be the complement so now we need to check whether this uh, this current complement is present in that map or not so this map nums dot map nums dot uh, has complement if that is uh, having the complement 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 right complement then what we are going to do we'll simply return so has complement means that uh, meets the target right so we'll return the indexes within the array so that will get let's say map nums num dot get uh, that will be the complement 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 and nums uh, sorry that next will be i i is the index right and at last what we need to do we need to set the value right if this is not uh, if we are not setting the value how we will compare so first we need to set the value so what value will set will set the actual number so i hope this will work let's see let's run the code okay let's run the code okay we got some error here let's check out what's the error we are getting undefined okay got it i think we need to set the index also right it's a hash table in it we are passing the value but forgot to pass the index so i we need to pass it out so let's uh, run it again okay let me submit this one Oh, it's accepted right so okay thank you very much stay tuned for more uh, algorithms or data structure related problems thank you so much